Today we will continue looking at the life of David. There are so many valuable lessons we could learn as it relates to understanding God and understanding how to draw closer to God, how to serve Him. So I want to encourage you, stay tuned as we unpack another chapter from the life of David. And be sure to help us spread this ministry by putting a comment in the comment section and even sharing the link with a friend. Your input makes a great difference for us. So God bless you. God bless. Thank you for joining us today. You know, I just want to wish you God's blessings. I wish you God's favor. Let's pray before we get into the word. Father, I thank you for your people. I thank you for your word today. I pray as we look at your word, as we get into this devotion, I pray that you touch your people. Help us through this word today, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Today, I want to call this message, Your Gift is a Ticket. Your Gift is a Ticket. And we are looking at the life of David. And the Word of God actually describes David as a man after God's own heart. So we will be looking at various aspects of David's life um, for inspiration and to grow closer to God true um, David's life story you know so we ourselves could become men and women after God's own heart and as I look at this particular aspect of David's life I felt this title is appropriate your gift is your ticket your gift is your ticket now before we even get into David's life I just want to remind us today that every child of God has a gift Every child of God has a gift. God God has given you skills, yes, given you a talent. You know, the Word of God talks about spiritual gifts. Um, we have these gifts of the Spirit. But apart from having these gifts of the Spirit, you know, we have natural skills and, and talents and abilities. That's why there are some people who are skilled at business. Um, they have great business acumen. Some people are good at engineering. Some people are good at farming. Some people are good at um, planning you know god has given us these innate gifts these innate qualities but i want to to um, emphasize this morning the fact that your gift is not just something you could do well uh, we have to see beyond that don't just um see our gift as something we do well yes it is something we do well but it is more than that i want to suggest to us today I want to suggest to us today that your gift is a ticket. Your gift is a ticket. In fact, the book of Proverbs chapters 18 verse 16 says, A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Let me repeat that scripture. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great great men in other words the gift that god has given you whatever talent god has given you it can help open doors it can open doors for your life you know and that's why i say if god has given you a gift if, if god has given you a talent um don't sit down on it don't sit down on that gift you know try to use it because your gift is a ticket look at david david had a gift and, and one of David's gifts is the fact that God gave him this ability to play musical instruments, particularly the harp. So there was this strong anointing on his life and the anointing power of the Holy Spirit um, flowed through David's life whenever he played the harp. That was one of his gifts. And one day David had the opportunity to use his gifts. So permit me to read this scripture for us. In 1 Samuel 16, 14 it says, but the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and a distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said to him, Surely a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Let our master now command your servants who are before you 
to seek out a man who is skillful on the harp and it shall be that he will play with his harp when the distressing spirit from God is upon you and you shall be well. So Saul said to his servants, provide me now a man who can play well and bring him to me. Then one of his servants answered and said, look, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a handsome person, and the Lord is with him. Therefore Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me your son David who is with sheep. And Jesse took a donkey, loaded with bread, a skin of wine, and a young goat, and sent him by his son David to Saul. So David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. You know, brothers and sisters, um, that particular scripture we just read actually describes something that happened in the life of King Saul. God had originally made Saul the king, but then he removed the anointing he placed on Saul because Saul was walking in disobedience. And, and with the removal of the anointing, Saul started to come under heavy spiritual attack. So his advisors came to him and they said, King, we suggest you find an anointed musician um, and let this person come and play music for you because they understood that there was an anointing in music and, and, and not only is there an anointing in music but they knew that evil spirits could be driven away those heavy feelings could be driven away during times of worship and music so they came um, to Saul and they said you know get a musician and let's bring the person and whenever you feel the heavy spirit come over you this person would play the harp and the spirit would go. And they wanted Saul to feel better. They wanted to help Saul. And Saul agreed. He agreed, okay, let's get the musician. And who did they send for? They sent for David. And why did they send for David? Because he had the right gift. Now, friend, I want you to listen to me very carefully. David's gift opened that door to enter into the king's house his gift and and i want you to know that you and i we must never underestimate where god could carry you what god could do in your life because of your gift what what is important is that here's david being ushered brought into the house of the king and david never forced to reach where he reached. God used the man's gift. God used his gift to open the door for him. In fact, he was with the sheep. He was done with the sheep when the call came for him to leave the sheep and come to the palace. So, so the point that I'm trying to make is that his gift was his ticket. His gift was the ticket that created that opportunity for him and friend there are some places that God will take you and you will not need to force yourself to get there you will not need to force it to open that door all you need to do is open your heart to God submit to God give him control of your gift and and the Lord will open that door for you if the Lord has given you a gift try to develop it Whatever you do for the Lord, do it. Your, do your best. Give it your all, because you never know how God might use that gift to open a door for you. You never know. And and what's interesting is not only did it open a door for him to enter into the kingship, to enter into the to the palace, but Saul went on to to make him his armor bearer, and and by entering into the palace, remember. Um, David was called, he was anointed to be the future king. He had this wonderful opportunity to sit under a king, to learn, to, to see how the palace operates. He had all of these experiences and what opened the door for him? Just his gift. And the thing is, he didn't start using his gift when he got to the palace, you know. He was faithful to his gift before in the small places. And because he was faithful to his gift, before in his small places, it opened a door for him to reach high places. Never despise your small beginnings. God give you a gift. 
then you need to use it because your gift, my friend, is your ticket. God bless you today. Father, I thank you for your word. And I thank you for your people today. Help us, God, to stir up the gift that is within us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you as I end. We have a prayer line. If you like prayer, you're having a difficult time and you need prayer, you can call right now. 354-1266. That's 354-1266. God bless you. Bye-bye.